Okay, just letting you know what we've been doing lately, or I've been doing lately, a bit of painting based on a an ink card I did. Uh, here's some large pots that's um, got a Crocus Martis infused slip on the outside. It's going to have big swipes of uh, feldspar and then a, then a chino over the top. Nice big plate, got two more of those to do tomorrow. Slightly smaller little jar. Here's some little moon jars. There's George. George! He's just got up from his uh, morning nap. He'll have something to eat and then go back and have his afternoon nap. Okay, so some moon jars there drying. Let's go through here in the kitchen. We've got a nice big moon jar here with a uh, just a simple uh, rim neck on it. Used a credit card for that effect there. And a slightly bigger one. Stand back a bit. Quite like the profile of that one. They're just waiting to be turned. I'm not turned yet. Uh, still quite damp. Um, let's go outside now and uh, do a few tea balls. Uh, this is um, tea balls here. I saw on the uh, on YouTube some tea balls being made by uh, Akira Satake, I think his name is. And I really like the way he did it. So I'm just going to try on some here. These are sort of these are tea balls for chowan tea balls for tea ceremony. And uh, I don't want to be perfectly round. Not for that reason, I'll just deform it a bit. I've got here is um, some slip made from the bottom of the bucket here and uh, blended up with some crocus martis so it's gonna wipe this on do have been a little bit thicker I think but Crocus martis is a, an impure form of iron oxide. It's quite rare now, so I'll try not to waste it. A friend of mine, Jim Simpson, gave me a bucket full of it, bless him. And uh, when it's gone, it's gone. Let me just deform this a bit. Trim off this. Right. That one done. 